Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a car and you want to know what are the signs, symptoms of bad front crankshaft seals. Stay with us, we'll explain that today and we'll explain how you can actually find out if yours is good or bad. All that will be covered in this video today. Also, we'll explain how you can easily replace those as well and sometimes you can do them without any special tools and uh, we'll cover that as we go. Now, uh, if you need to buy a new crankshaft seal, any special tools, anything for your car for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Another thing, if you need to buy uh, uh, if you need to guys fix your car and you want to find more videos okay every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can oh we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now let's quickly explain what are the signs of bad phone crankshaft seal the phone crankshaft seal guys okay you can see this is the engine right here you will have okay that's the crankshaft that's why it's known as front the rear is between the transmission and the engine the front is on the front side it will be okay kind of like right here guys okay right here and you will have the crankshaft pulling okay like that on top right and here you're going to have the serpentine belt okay the crankshaft pulley will run the serpentine belt the serpentine belt usually runs the ac compressor alternator water pump and a few pulleys tensioner pulleys and idle water pulleys as well the size of a bad phone crankshaft seal, guys, if you develop an oil leak under the car, okay, usually it will be mostly on the side of the engine where the crankshaft seal is. If you have a front wheel drive car, most likely facing the car from the front of the hood will be on the left side or on the passenger side under the engine you may have an oil puddle. Another thing you may oil dripping on the oil pan, okay, or starts getting uh, oily here. Okay, that could be the sign of a bad crankshaft seal. Another thing, sometimes when the crankshaft seals start dripping, okay, that oil will drip on the belt in the crankshaft pulley. It will drip on the pulley. From there on the belt, the belt can get squeaky because it will be oily. That can actually affect your alternator and when you turn the headlights on during the night or AC compressor, you will have more load on the belt and that can lead actually to, uh, to squeaking belt, sleeping belt, not being able to charge your battery and that can lead to even overheating because the uh, water pump will be driven by the belt as well. And eventually the belt can fall off or actually can break because oily belt sooner or later will fall apart. Another thing, that oily belt will keep spraying oil. So if you open your hood and on top of the hood of your car you have an oil spot where right above the belt guys, okay, and you have oil on the alternator, other accessories, that is a sign uh, very likely that you have a bad crankshaft seal as well because he will start dripping here and it will get on the pulley and it will spread there. Make sure that it's not coming from the top of the engine. If everything is clean here, but it's past the pulley down, Okay, it's bad crankshaft pulley. Now, right here guys, okay, let me get a screwdriver to pull it out quick. That crankshaft pulley will uh, will keep the oil away, okay, from the, uh, the crankshaft seal from the crankshaft pulley. And that's the purpose of it, but eventually they do go bad. If you want to see how to replace one, okay, we have uh, we'll have a video on the channel that will explain that, but uh, you can do it without usually uh, special tools but uh, uh, in some cases special tools will make your life much much easier so check it out if you need help with that and if you need to buy one we will share the link in the description of the video below where you can get the new crankshaft seal for a really good price and quick shipping so thank you for watching and see you guys next time